Bases and heights. This video will clarify the difference between the height of a prism or a pyramid. There is a difference between the height of a prism or a pyramid versus the height of the base. Those are not the same. Please write that down. The height of a prism or a pyramid is not the same as the height of a base. Write that down. All right. The height of a prism or a pyramid. The height of a prism is the distance between the bases. Uh, make sure you write that down. So if I have this prism right here, I have base one here and I have a second base right here. The height is going to be this distance right here between the bases. So what you have to think about is if I stood it up on its base like this, how tall is it? What is the distance from base to base? That's the height of a prism. And it goes, um, works the same with um, this prism right here. This is a triangular prism. So if these are the bases, then my height is going to be right here. It's going to be the distance between the two bases. In other words, again, when it's sitting on its base, how tall is it? Um, now for a pyramid, um, the height is going to be the distance between the base and the vertex. So if I have this pyramid right here, here is my base, and here is my vertex. How tall is it from base um, to vertex? Now what's important is that you look at it not on this slant, because remember, we don't measure um, someone ha when they're not standing straight up. So this distance, there has to be that right angle. So it's really from here to right here. So it's the distance from the base to the vertex. And keep in mind, you still have to have that right angle. Now, um, we can also look at this one right here. If this is, if this is my base, um, what is the distance from base to the vertex? And we can't look at it, you know, up, right up against here. It has to be um, at a, a form that 90 degree angle. So the distance from the bottom um, to the vertex. So one helpful hint to, to think about is when your prism or your pyramid is sitting on its base, how tall is it? Make sure that it's sitting on its base though. That's, that's the height of it. Sometimes you'll see pictures where they're not always sitting on their bases. Okay, now let's talk about height of the base or bases. The height, which also could be um, a length, of the base only, not of the entire prism. So what you've got to think about is the height of not the entire figure. We're looking at the base only. So in this prism, the height of the base would be this distance here. Whereas the height of the prism was of the whole entire prism, now we're only looking at the base, which is this piece right, or this, that length right here. On this uh, pyramid, the height of the pyramid is how tall it is, um, but the height of the base would be just this right here, or we could turn it this way and it would be right here. So, um, and then looking at this one, here's the height of the prism. The height of the base would just be this measurement right here, the 2D base only. And then on our triangular uh, pyramid, the height of the entire pyramid, remember, is this whole entire height, um, how tall it is from here to the vertex. But if we're talking about the base, the height of the base, it's this height right here. Actually, we could look at it like this. So we're only focused on the 2D um, base when we're talking about height of base. All right, so I want to draw a couple of pictures for you. Um, and I'm going to draw them so that you can see how you can, how they can be drawn. So this is going to be a triangular prism. So draw that. This is the distance between the bases. Triangular bases, the distance between the bases. So this would be the height of the triangular prism. Whereas this distance that distance right there would be the height of the base. 
Um, here is a rectangular prism. So let's go with, this would be the height of the prism. And then um, this would be the height of the base. So do you see the difference? We're talking about the entire figure versus um, just the base. Now let's look at some pyramids. So if I have a um, rectangular pyramid, um, the height of the rectangular pyramid is going to be from here to here. Sometimes you will see it actually drawn on the inside. It'll be like a dot and it'll be all the way just to right here. Um, and imagine it like inside the 3D figure. So that's the height of the pyramid. But when we're talking about the height of the base, we're talking about that distance right here. All right, now let's look at a triangular pyramid. So the height of the pyramid is going to be from the vertex down to the base. And again, sometimes it'll be drawn all on the inside. And the way you can tell if it's the difference between the height of the base and the height of the pyramid is that the height um, line will stop right in the middle. So to try to show you that it's um, inside the figure. So that's the height of the pyramid. And then um, the height of the base is just going to be looking at this base only. So that. Um, please pause, uh, rewind, watch this several times because this is going to be really, really important when we get to volume.